Gabby, good night. Good night, how are you? Pretty good, thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? Uh, great. So, great, okay, cool. Is it raining where you live right now? Yes, it's raining, but uh, now it's, uh, it's not raining. Uh, that much? That much, but uh, one hour ago, it, it was very strong. Very hard. Well, right now, well, when I sent all of you the message, it was raining like a cats and dogs, right? You cannot imagine. Yes. Now it's like it stopped raining, but right now, suddenly, appears that it's going to be harder again. Another cats and dogs. Really? Yeah. So hopefully that will not affect the internet connection. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, we're crossing our fingers just in case. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. But hopefully not. And only you and me, can you imagine? That's nice. Yes. That would be one on one session. <laughs> only for me. Exactly. That would be, yeah. Don't you feel privileged? Oh, come on. Of course. Oh, I want to see your big girl. <laughs> okay, very good. Tell me something. How was your day? Ah, pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Uh, what did you do? Uh, well, cook and uh, uh, work with my daughter. Okay. And I did something thing of my house. Oh, you mean like uh, uh, house chores? Yes. House okay. Shorts. Yeah, the house shorts basically you englobe everything. You englobe the laundry, cooking, iron, um, all the stuffs. We call house shorts. House shorts, okay? House shorts. Mm -hmm. House, we call yeah. house and shorts. You spell it C H R O R E S. House shorts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's what we call. And, the wing, and in one word, we englobe. Uh, or we involve all everything, all activities related to the house, basically. Okay. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Thank you. That's really nice, but it's really tough, right? As a as a woman, we need to like do double work, actually. House yeah, and, and also this, work. Mm -hmm. And for me, I think that uh, right now for the quarantine, my husband is here, and then I have two demanded. Uh, people in wow. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Wow. So I can imagine that. Yes. Yeah. It's good. I like to spend time with my, uh, you, with, with my daughter. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. If it wasn't for a quarantine, sometimes there is no time to spend with family, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I miss my 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 parents, but but, uh, but at the same time, I have choice. Yes. Yeah, we got we need to like take advantage of the positive things that we have right now. I know it's yes. stressful because being sitting uh, with a hot uh, weather, right? But there are like opposite things as well. Yes. That was really good. Definitely. Uh, tell me something. Mm. Can you let me know something that you did uh, in the past? A good memory that you have when you were a child? Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe an adventure? <laughs> maybe in Christmas Day. Okay. Uh, my father uh, has a big family. Okay. He has uh, eight, eight, um, well, uh, seven, seven uh, sisters and one brother. Oh, really? And that is a re the, your father's uncle. relative. Okay. Yes. Um, we have many um, 
primos. Cousins? Cousins. Um, uh, the Christmas uh, was very um, happy because we have a big reunion and we share uh, good moments. Oh, okay. That's nice. Okay, yeah, spending time with the families and friends is really, really yes. nice. Oh, well. Yes. And we receive many gifts. Ha. And when <laughs> we are a child, uh, this is, uh, I don't know. Um, a really special occasion yes yes yeah definitely child loves gift yes. you know i'm not a child but i love gifts <laughs> right christian uh, gabby said that children children loves gifts but i told her no not only children also adults we love that somebody give us something right ah, okay yes for example i love that my my uh my niece she lives in costa rica but my niece called me right say hi auntie or give me a hug for example right oh my hi. husband give me a hug your wife right give you a kiss your daughter your son a gift does it have to be a special it does it have to be like expensive and does it have to yes. be big to be a special right yes a gift it will be special for you if it makes you happy but at the same time if it also uh, helps you cover a need that you have for example if you're hungry and somebody gives you a candy that's amazing <laughs> yeah that's amazing it doesn't have to be like a ferrero rochelle chocolate right it could be right the lemon candy the one that you can buy in front of the store with five cents but it helps you a lot because uh, you were starving now you were you are not a starving anymore <laughs> so that's nice Yes, it's true. Very good. Thank you, Gabby. What about you, uh, um, Mr. Christian? What did you do today? How was your day, by the way? Um, um, I worked. You worked? Okay. I, yes, I work uh, every, every day. Every day, and okay. Every day, and I finished uh, the work at 7 p.m., Okay, tell me from uh, uh, when does your shift starts? The start, sorry. When does your shift start? Uh, mm, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. and ended up at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Okay, so you work from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Exactly. Monday to Friday. Uh, no, is um, rotated. Um, uh, rotator. Ah, okay, okay, very good. For example, okay. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, tomorrow I will work um, from seven a.m. Mm -hmm. to four p.m. Oh, that's really nice the schedule. Very, very good. Okay, but don't talk to me about tomorrow. Talk about to me today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because okay. we need to practice simple simple past. Okay. Uh, well, we perfect. have seen yesterday. Okay, okay, so you worked. What else did you do? Uh, repeat, please. Uh, I okay. can. You told me it. that you worked, right, Gabby? He worked. Yes. Yeah, but worked. what else did you do? Ah, okay. I re receive mm -hmm. uh, calls. Okay, you receive calls. Um, Very good. Uh, when I was worked in the office, I. Uh -huh. I attend the client in front of and the client. The client uh -huh. in front of is ah, like a face to face a customer service. Customer oh, okay. Service. So are you are a customer service agent. Correct. Okay, it, cool. Uh, yes. Did um, you work? Uh, do you work in a call center? Yes or not? Ah, okay. Um, the both. 
Yeah, both. Okay, cool. Uh, I work in the office, mm -hmm. but um, when I no have a client, mm -hmm. I I was connect in the call center. Okay, so you got connected in the call center. Okay, what else did you do? Describe your day today. Um, the today. Yes, describe me your day since you woke up in the early morning. Okay, I wake up. You uh, wake up or you woke up? I I woke up. Very good. I woke up at a.m. Okay, continue. And that I cook. You cooked? Very good. I cooked for, for me and for my sons. Okay. Um, after that, I I connect for my work. You got connected, okay? Or you start the working? You start working? I start I start for the working. Okay. Or oh, start my work. And, Good. Mm -hmm. And after that, for after that, and, and only waiting for finish my work. Yeah. You didn't have your lunch. Ah. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Yeah. you see Gabby yeah, yeah. you're like oh my I, god <laughs> he he had his breakfast and then it started for the whole day oh come on no, no <laughs> okay continue I, I, I take I took, you take or you took very uh, good I take, I very took good my break uh -huh. at 3 p.m. at 3 p.m. what about Before, your lunch uh, no, my lunch is at 1 p.m. So your lunch was at 1 p.m. and your break was at 3 p.m. Oh, that's good. Uh, yes. And okay. For 50 minutes is my my break. Your break. You have you had you had a 15 minute break. Exactly. Very good. Continue. Exactly. After that, I I finish finish the. I finish my shift. Uh, yes and no, no, no yes <laughs> yes repeat please <laughs> <laughs> okay um okay you can after, you see Gabby? come on right <laughs> okay after that i i played soccer with my sons you played okay played i played soccer with my son mm -hmm. and 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 take my i'm sorry and took my very good my dinner okay very good my you dinner. you took your dinner or you had your dinner um had. we can say oh uh, both or and no necessary because when you took something basically it's like if you grab something physically but if you had your dinner that means that you eat it, ate it, okay? Or so that depends. I, mm -hmm. Or I ate my dinner. Oh, you ate? Oh, you ate? Okay. You ate dinner. Ate you, dinner. Ate dinner. Oh, Don't yeah. use the, the possessive. No, yeah. Ah, okay. Ate dinner. You you can say you, I, I ate dinner with my son, for example, or with my family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, continue. After that, or then? And then. Very good. I. I. I took my. I took a shower. Whoa! Okay, thanks God, because you played soccer. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, I took my shower. You took a, a shower. shower. Mm -hmm. I took a shower and. And. See a, a TV. In C? In what? No, watch. 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 Very good. Watch TV. Very good. Excellent. And the, and finally. And finally, in my English class. Very good. And you got prepared for your English class. Very good. Okay. What's good, right, Gabby? Yes. Very good. No, <laughs> oh, no, that's great. Very good. I I told you guys that this model is going to be harder because I'm going to make you speak. 
<laughs> or as big, or as big. Or as big. Exactly. Whatever you prefer. Okay. Very That's good. Big. Very good. And don't worry about it. Make mistakes that you forgot, like the verbs, etc. Hey, I'm congratulations, Christian, because you said I take. No, no, no. I took. Okay. You, you got it. That it was not the right um verb tense. And you correct yourself. That's great. Okay. Because you're a conscient. Okay. Remember, guys, you know what, ha what happened in Spanish or here, you know, the Latin people, we made a mistake, right? For example, Latin people started talking in present. Then we go back in past. Then we, we go back and we are um, talking about the future, right? That's where Latin people are. But American people, and British people, they stay focused on one bird tense. If they start talking about present, they're talking about present. They do not mix up the, the bird tenses, right? So in this case, if we are talking about past, stay in past. Don't mix present, don't mix future, okay? Past, past. If you talk about past, stay in the past, right? Okay. So that's, that's what is really difficult for us. Because yes. because people, we, Latin people we, will love we to we talk. <laughs> exactly, we mix it up, right? <laughs> exactly, we we, okay. we do like a like cocktail, <laughs> yes. but no, and, and that is really hard. But right now we're going to learn that we're talking about past. We need to stay in the past, okay? That's what I make you speak, guys. Okay, and don't worry. When we we practice, practice makes perfection. I told you, right? And last but not least, um, Christian, can you do me a favor? Can you please be so kind to ask Americo what did he do today? Okay, Americo? Americo? Americo hello. is there. Hello, ah, hello. Yeah, very good, very good. <laughs> Americo, good what night. did you do um, today? Uh, repeat me, please. What did you do today? What do? What did you do today? Um. Um. ¿Qué hice ahora? Exactly. Very good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, um. I work. I work, work? today. Uh, okay. Yes, I have work of, uh, of my house. From your house? Uh, okay. Yes. Um. Uh, oh, continue. You can do it. Uh, in, <laughs> in my in my in my work, uh, uh, give me the 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 PC. Give you, give you or gave you. Uh, gave you exactly because you're talking about the past. Okay, very uh, good. The, the computer uh, okay. from I work of my house. Oh, so they brought that computer that you used to work at the office, or you used to use at the work at, at the office? They brought you to your home? Yes. Oh, okay, yes. cool. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I work of my, uh, of my half, the, of my house. Uh, okay. Um, my work uh, is... Um, you can do it. You can do it. Do your best. Uh, um, uh, acerca de, ¿cómo se dice acerca de? About? About my work uh, is about of uh, the, the publicity. Ah, really? That's nice. Yes. Uh, really interesting. Uh, I am in the, in the competence uh, of the marketing okay. department. Marketing competence. Okay, cool. Yes, the competence. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it is in my work in the morning. Uh, every morning I, 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 I work in this. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I'll half day. Okay. At, at midnight? Or no, at midnight, yes. no. Uh, you, you said um, at 12 noon? See. Si. Uh, yes. At one, one o'clock. This ah, is my... Around one o'clock. Okay. See, si, at one o'clock. Uh, I go to eat my you, lunch. You you ate. 
I ate my lunch. Oh, you had your lunch. Okay, very good. Mm. Yes. Oh, delicious. Yeah. That's the best part of the day. Yes. <laughs> yes. Only, only in my house, I have a, a chaos. Ah, okay. A completely disaster. I can understand yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, cool. I, I, go, I go to eat at the three, three, three o'clock or, or, okay. or uh, more late. Okay. Uh, after. Um, mm -hmm. At what uh, time did you finish your work? At the 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. One yes. hour earlier than Christian. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Okay. And after 6 p.m., what did you do? Uh, I, ever I work in... in, in in this, in this, um, in, lo mismo. in the same, in the same. So you continue working after your shift? Come on. Uh, did you have the, the, did you have dinner? Ah, uh, no, uh, after of the six. Aha, uh -huh, after I, 6 I p.m., yes. Yes. Uh, uh, I have with my family, I see, I see the TV. You um, see the TV or you watch the TV, guys? What do you think? Uh, I watch You watch, TV. very good, excellent. I watch, I watch TV. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, I like fight. Yes, I, I fight with my, my songs. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> you what? You yes. fight with him? Come yes. on. Oh yes. my God. Yes. Christian they... plays soccer. Um, <laughs> Gabby helped uh, her daughter with uh, some classes, and you fight with them. Come on! Uh, they 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 can fight with me. Really? They cry. Uh, uh, no. Come uh, on! Ellos me gritan, pues. <laughs> they yell at you. Yes, ellos pelean, ellos pelean conmigo. O sea, ah, ok, so what else you can do, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh -huh. Le doy su estate quieto. Ah, ok. <laughs> Say, uh, uh, take it easy, calm down, ok. <laughs> And finally, you prepare to be here, right? <laughs> Hopefully, yes. ok. Yes. I, 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 I come into the class uh, very relaxed. Yes, uh, yeah, definitely. Yes. Uh -huh. Very because, relaxed. You're already because, stressed out. Because I am huh. very, very relaxed. Do yeah, you see me? I, I don't. I don't talk uh, much with yeah. this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's only teacher. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> you see, now we know, right, Christian and Gabby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay, guys, very good. Good try. Good job, Gabby, Christian, and America. I know that sometimes it's really hard. But uh, today we're going to help you, okay? We're going to talk about simple past. And if I let you know, uh, in the previously class yesterday, we're going to focus on some grammar tips. I know that you don't love it, but it's really important, okay? And I will show you some also. Uh, we're going to cover regular verbs and irregular verbs. Ah, you say, oh my God. Yes, I'm going to show you some regular verbs, but there are more. Okay, uh, however, I'm going to encourage you to study them because uh, as more vocabulary, as more verbs that you know, it will be a little bit easy for you to talk about the past and explain different activities, okay? But at least I will give it to you the keys, uh, how you structure the sentences, how you double the consonant, how when you change the Y for the I, for example, how you pronounce even though all regular verbs is ended up in ED, but they do not pronounce it the same. We got three ways to pronounce it. We're going to talk about this right now. And also I will send you like a link for you to have like an idea of the most uh, irregular verbs that we use, okay? The regular verbs are a little bit easy. We can say that because L of them ended up in ED. But the irregular verbs, you got to learn by heart, okay? So we're going to start. Uh, let me just one moment when I search for that, and I'll come in back to you, okay? Okay. Okay, cool.
Okay, guys, I already found it. So thank you so much. I will share my screen with you and I will appear as well. <laughs> okay. So allow me just one moment. There you go. Can you see me, guys? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Can you see my pretty face? Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. There you go. Okay, but I only can see Christian, and I don't see Gabby. I'm here. You there? What, America? Are you there? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, we're going to talk about simple paths, and one of the things that I love to use. Uh, to have like a positioning in the in the time frame uh, where is the simple plus located take a look at this um sleigh slide sorry can you see it okay do yeah. me a favor uh, gabby could you please be so kind to read for me what is a simple pass can you read it for me yes it's a verb tense which is used to show that the completed action took place at a specific time in the past. Mm -hmm. The simple past is also frequently used to talk about past habits and general generalization. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry. Generalizations. Generalization. Very good job. Okay, exactly, guys. The simple past is a bird tense that we used to talk about something that it was in the past, for example, take a look at the time frame, a la linea del tiempo, the time frame. We have present, future, and past. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So we have the X here in the past. Why? Because when we talk about simple past, it could be an action or a an habit or a generalization that was in the past. It started in the past and ended up in the past, guys. Period. Something that finished. Yes? For example, let me give you an example. When I was a child, I was a completely disaster. Now, I'm not. You see? I was a completely disaster. It was a habit that I used to have. Un hábito que yo tenía, right? It, that is when I was a child, cuando yo era una chiquilla. Now, it's not anymore, okay? okay? Yeah, for example, guys, what I ask you, how was your day? What did you do? Okay? It's something that, it's an action that you did that took place in a specific time today, but it had finished, mm -hmm. see? ¿sí? Es algo que terminó. Es una acción que empieza en el pasado, empieza en el pasado y termina en el pasado. Punto. No sigue para ningún lado en el presente, como en el presente perfecto, que eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Right? Is that clear? Yes. 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 Very good. For example, take a look at the example that we have here in the slide. Last year, that means past, right? I traveled to Japan. That means that it's something that I did in the past. Last year. I didn't specify if it was January, February, March, or if it was the 1st of October. I didn't specify the date. All that I specified is an action that I did in the past, period. Okay? okay. And if I put last year, just to emphasize, to give more specific detail in the past, okay? But it's not necessary, okay? Okay. Okay. Could be last week, could be last month, it could be depends, right? Okay, cool. Can we continue? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. The simple past, guys. We have two type of questions. Did you work on Saturday? That guys is a just no question in the past. Okay. That is what we call. We have a just no question in present, and we do have a just no question in past. Guys, do me a favor. Did you notice what is the auxiliary that we use here? What is the auxiliar? Did. 
Did. Very good. ¿Qué es el pasado de qué verbo, Christian? No. Very good. Exactly. This is a just no question. Why, guys? Because when I ask you, you just ask the direct answer is a simple yes or it's a simple no. For example, did you work on Saturday? Le pregunto a Christian and Christian me dice, yes, I did. Pero le pregunto a Américo, did you work on Saturday? No, I didn't. Okay. Si me quieres dar más explicación, me lo dices. Ya vamos a okay. enfatizar en esto. Y las otras se llaman WH questions. ¿Qué son las WH questions? Son questions que yo necesito más que un simple sí y un simple no. Necesito una explicación más detallada. Por ejemplo, what did Rick do on Saturday? ¿Qué es lo que hizo Rick el Saturday? Bueno, tú me explicas. He stayed at home and studied for the test, or for a test. ¿Sí? Me dices, hizo esto y esto. ¿Ok? Very good. No te preocupes, Christian. Don't copy. Porque okay. uh, yo necesito hoy que se fijen, porque yo se les voy a mandar este um, file, se los voy a mandar en WhatsApp. Ok. Ok, para que you have it. Ok, guys. Take a look at this. Esta es la primera que estamos viendo. That's right. Is that correct? Ok. Ven, aquí está el auxiliar, did. Pero ojo, necesito que vean algo. ¿Qué? En esta pregunta, did you go to the beach? Did you go to the beach? Uh, primero la intonation, right? Did you go to the beach? Como usa just no question, la intonation va para arriba. ¿Sí? Did you work on Saturday? La intonation va para arriba. Pero la otra pregunta, what did Rick do on Saturday? Esa intonation va para abajo. ¿Sí? En la WH questions, la intonation va para abajo. Y en la just no question, que empieza con el auxiliary did, la intonation va para arriba. ¿Es that correct? Can we practice it? Lo practicamos. Okay. ok. Repeat after me. Did you work on Saturday? 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 No te oigo, Americo. I cannot listen to you. Very good. Did you work on Saturday? Did you work, Did you on, work Saturday? on Saturday? Very good. Now we practice the other intonation. What did Rick do on Saturday? What did Rick do on Saturday? Ven que la intonation va para abajo. What did Rick do on Saturday? What did Rick do on Saturday? Exactly. Very good. La intonation es diferente. Okay? Very good. La primera se llama just now question in class y la otra se llama informative questions, ¿ok? Very good. Let's continue with the one that we we're double checking right now. En esta, cuando usamos el auxiliary did, did you go to the beach? ¿Cuál es el verbo principal en esta pregunta? Can you please let me know, guys? Go. Go. Very go. good. Y en la segunda... Break. 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 Excellent job. Did you notice something? Notan algo, chicos? The verb is in present. Exactly. Very good. Very good, Christian. So, guys, when we're using the auxiliary did here for a just no question or for a WH question because we're going to use it as well. These guys let me know that automatically the question is in the past. Okay, so if I'm going to use the main verb, which in this case is go, and the second example is break, I need to put the verbs in the present tense, okay? Okay, this is the correct way. This is not the correct way. I have to say, did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? I don't have to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? No. That is not correct. Because I already used it that auxiliary did. So I automatically transformed the question in the past. If I want to use a second verb or the main verb in this case, I need to use it in the present way. No in the past way. Okay? Is that clear? Yes. Yes, Amerigo? Yes. But but okay. that it is only for, for a question. Exactly. Pass. Yes, exactly. For a question. Because, for example, let me show you something, guys. For example, if I'm 
If I'm answer one of these questions, did you go to the beach or did he break the window? This is the correct way to, uh, to formulate a question, right? But let's pretend that I am answering a question. It could be a just no question like did, or it could be a double question we did. For example, um, what did you do? No, what do they do? What did they do um, last Sunday? And they I answer. I answer affirmative way, Gabby. They went to the park last week. If I'm talking about, if I'm answering in affirmative way, here, yes, guys, I'm going to use the verb in the past. Okay? They went to the park last weekend. I woke up last late this morning. She came late to class. Okay? I'm answering affirmative way. And if I'm answering affirmative way in the simple past, I'm going to use the verbs in the past tense. Okay? Is it clear? Yes. Are you sure, Gabby? Americo? Yes, Christian? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, do me a favor. <sighs> Who said that? Christian? No. Americo. Yes. Ash. <laughs> okay, Americo. Do me a favor. Let's practice, right? Okay. Do me a favor. I want one affirmative sentence in past. Using a verb in the past. One affirmative. Uh, For example, uh, let me ask you a question. Um, what did you eat today at lunchtime? What did you eat? Um, ¿Qué comiste en el almuerzo? Yes. Uh, ¿Qué, ¿Con quién empiezas? Estoy preguntándote a ti. ¿Cómo se dice yo? I. I, very good. I. I. Eh, sería it en, en pasado. Ajá. ¿Cuál I, es el pasado de it, guys? Ate. Ate. Very good. Uh, I uh -huh. ate uh, Xiaoming. Very good. Excellent job. Can I have a, an example of, of a sentence, Christian? Anything that you did today? Uh, okay, I I let me help you something. Just the, just the the verb in the second example. Woke up. Okay, I woke up at eight a.m. Very good. And the last one. Um. Okay. Um. Gabby, give me a sentence. Um. I came late to class because I was I was wash, wash ah, okay. at the nation eh, cadena nacional. Oh, okay, okay. okay. There you go. Okay, <laughs> exactly. The president's announcement. Okay, I understand that perfectly. Very good. You see, excellent job. Okay, guys, this is clear, right? What about negative way? Okay. For example, guys. If we're going to use um, just no question, like this one. Did you went to the beach? This one, no, this one, no. This one, did you go to the beach? Okay. You can answer in affirmative or negative way. Is that correct? Yes. 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 So if we're answering in affirmative or negative way, we're going to use the verb did all the time. So we can use, if it's affirmative, Yes, I did. If it's negative, no, I didn't. Okay? Remember, guys, didn't is the contraction way or did not. Okay? Do you remember that? Okay. Okay. Let me ask you a question. We're going to practice a just no question. Um, let me ask you this. Uh, Americo, did you go to the beach on Saturday? Uh, no, I no I, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, Christian, did you prepare the dinner today? Um, yes, I did. Yes, I didn't. 
Yes, I did. Ah, okay, okay. Phew. No. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. That's why I'm asking you because so that's why guys I ask you because you need to open your mouth when you answer, okay? If not, we can understand something else. <laughs> okay. That's very good, Christian. Um, okay. Gabby. Yes. Uh, did you help your daughter with uh, her homework? Sorry, sorry. Did you help your daughter with her homework? Yes, I did. Very good. You see, guys? I ask you a just no question. You got a simple answer, yes or no, right? Okay, now, okay. guys, I'm going to ask you another type of question. With what or how? With informat informative questions. Um, tell me something, Christian. What? Did you cook for dinner today? Ah, okay, I I cook. You cooked? I I cook um pancake. Pancakes. Mmm, pancake. yummy, very good. For, for dinner. For dinner. Not too bad. That's great. Excellent. Uh, Americo. Yes. Mm-hmm. What did you cook for dinner today? Tell me the uh, truth. I don't cook today. <laughs> you don't you don't cook today or you didn't cook today? I didn't cook today. Ah, very good job. That was a tricky question. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Hey, Gabby. Yes. Um, how did it go with your um with your daughter's homework? How did it? How did it go? Como te fue? Um, go? With your daughter's homework. Very well. It went? It went very well. Very good. Excellent job. Fernando, hi, how are hi, you? Peter. Hello, Peter. Hi, very, hello. very good. I'm so happy to have you back. Okay, very good job, guys. Okay, is it clear, guys? Is that claro? Yes, okay, okay, guys, let's work right now on the formula. I want you guys to pay attention on the left side, en la, en la parte de la izquierda, the just no questions. Vean la formula. Primero va el auxiliary did, ¿sí? Después va el sujeto, después va el verbo principal y después el complemento, okay? Okay, let's practice, guys. Eh, Christian, I want... One sentence with did, please. One question, sorry. Okay. De la formula. Did, subject, main verb, and complement. Give me a sent. Give me a question, please. Did you read? Um, did you read the Bible? Oh, how do you say Biblia? Bible, very good. Ah, okay. Uh, did you read? the Bible today. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Very good job. Thank you. Americo, can I have a question, please? Uh, we did. Did, did you, did you, did you, did you shower <gasps> your, your hair today? Did I shower my hair today? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Okay, uh, Gabby. Yes. Can you formulate a question with did, please? Okay. Uh, did you study the songs that the teacher sent us yesterday? Uh huh, guys. <laughs> Be honest. Thank you, Gabby. Good question. Gabby. <laughs> Gabby, I hate you. <laughs> no, okay, guys, answer, please. Never Be honest. In my, never in my life, I am listening the the song of the Coldplay. Really? Yes. What up? What about yesterday from the Beatles? Ah, yes, this is. Ah, okay. This mm -hmm. is a beautiful song. Yeah, that's why I send you two type of of song just in case. Okay, so Gabby, I think you have you already have your answer. The answer is no. They didn't. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Very good. Fernando, can you hi, formulate Victoria. a hi? Can you formulate a question with did? You can okay. choose America, Christian, or Gabby. Not me. Okay. Um Americo. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> I knew it. Come guys. on, come on, Fernando. <laughs> I love you. Yes, yeah, I know. Go ahead. Okay. Did you play in did you play or did you play? Did you play? Did you play? Did you play uh, video game? Video game now? No. No. No, no I don't. Ah, no, I, I don't? don't. Okay. No, I didn't. Ah, no, I didn't. The question, Fernando Did you play video games when, when you were, for example, when you ah, were a child? You... Okay, uh -huh. Okay, do it again. You can do it. Ask the question again to America, Fernando. Okay. Did you gain? Did you play? Did you play? Did you play? Video games. You can do it. Um. Did you play video game? Uh, no, remember the chair. When you were a child. Ah, uh, when you were a child. Uh huh, America. No, I didn't. Ah, uh, really? No. Oh. No. I play video game. Can you imagine? The teacher play video game. I played Sega <laughs> in Mario Bros. <laughs> <laughs> and I was a little mushroom. Did I? Atari. 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 I play, I yeah, I did. Atari. Me too. Ah, Atari. Ah, no, Fernando. That was a long time ago. <laughs> that is older than video games. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very, very good, guys. Excellent. Now let's practice with the other type of questions, okay? In this case, we have a different way. First of all, guys, we have what. The, the WH question could be what, could be how, could be when, okay? Depends on what you want to ask, okay? Then we have the auxiliary did. After that, we have the subject. Then we have the main verb and the complement, okay? Did you notice that? Yes? yes. It's easy, right? Okay. Let me ask you a question, uh, Amer, uh, Christian. Uh, what did you do for lunch? Or what did you eat for lunch? Sorry. Okay, I I ate um, chicken. Chicken? Oh, chicken. that's really really delicious. Very good. Okay, Christian, ask the same question to Americo. Again, okay, Americo. Yes, again. <laughs> okay, Americo. Uh, what did you eat for lunch? Um, I I ate. I ate um, a chow mein. Very good. Today my lunch. Very good. Okay, you see, I know why I ask you again for the same question. <laughs> America, can you please ask the same question to Fernando? Um, Fernando, did you... No, what did you... Uh, Ah, uh, excuse uh -huh. me. Uh, you, uh, no, I'm not excuse you. <laughs> okay, go ahead. What did you, what did you eat today, Fernando? At what time? Uh, at breakfast, at lunch, at dinner? In Choose. the three time. In the three times. Uh, okay. Three times. Okay, let's start with the breakfast. Uh, I You're so the... mean, Americo. <laughs> uh huh. I eat rose in the in the. You eat rose or you ate? Ate. Okay, you ate what? Uh, ate, ate rose in okay. the breakfast. Okay. What about lunchtime? Lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Lunchtime. Mm, lunchtime. Chicken, teacher. Chicken. Ah, the Christian. Very yeah. good. And what about dinner? And the dinner? Mm -hmm. Never, teacher. No? No? Nah, no. You haven't ate? And only water. 
Ah, ah, only one. Yeah, teacher. Oh, yes, Gabby, he's on a diet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, let me ask you, Gabby, what did you eat for um, dinner? I ate hot dog. Oh, okay, that's delicious. <laughs> that's really good. Yummy. Yes. Okay. Easy to cook. Yes, definitely. Easy to good. <laughs> and healthy. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I can eat it, all right, also. Very good, very good, guys. So you see, we practice. We practice both of them. And then let me show you something. Something that would be really nice to remember is this, guys. When we're talking about simple past, please, we use the auxiliary did, okay? All the time. And the main verb goes back to present. This is something that you don't have to forget, okay? Never do this, please. Never. If you do that, I'll kill you. Okay? Okay. okay. And you don't want me to kill you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. Very good. Okay. This is like um, a little brief explanation. We got here, guys. The simple pass for regular verbs, okay? For regular. I'm not talking about irregular right now. We're regular. Okay. For regular verbs, if we're talking about um, affirmative way, First, we have the subject, and we have the verb in the past tense, okay? If we get in a negative way, of course, we have the subject. We got the auxiliary did plus not or didn't in the contraction way. You can do it. And, of course, the verb in the present tense. Never forget that. And if you want to add a compliment, you can do it. In the interrogative way, if we're talking about just no question, remember, guys, the auxiliary goes first. Then we have the subject, and then we have the verb in the infinity way. That means the present. And we all can we can also do the negative um, interrogative way. So we have did not or didn't plus the subject plus the main verb. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. It's clear. Okay. Let me give you an example of this with one verb. In this case, is a verb that I have choose. It's a regular verb. And the verb is walk. walk. That means, exactly, caminar, okay? If you would like to have it in an affirmative way, I walked. No, no walk, okay? Do not, do not pronounce the L. You, th this is a, a L that is silence L, okay? You write it, but you do not pronounce it. So you said... I walked, you walked, okay? He walked, we walked, they walked. Do you listen to that at the end? Walked, okay? If you would like to do it in a negative way, can you please read it for me, Americo? In the negative column, please. I didn't walk. Continue with a negative column. You didn't walk. Okay. Continue. He didn't walk. Okay. We didn't walk. Mm -hmm. They didn't walk. Very good. They didn't walk. Very good. Okay, very good. Gabby, can you please read the interrogative way for me? Did I walk? Mm -hmm. Did you walk? Mm -hmm. Did he walk? Mm -hmm. Did we walk? And the last one? Did they walk? Very good. Remember that is a just no question. So the intonation a little bit uh, goes out, right? Did I walk? Did you walk? Did he walk? Very good job. Excellent, Gabby. There you go. Okay, guys. Here's what I want to focus. Okay, the regular verb. Aha, uh -huh, you see, Christian? I already have been prepared for that. I know, I knew that. <laughs> because this is really important that you know, guys. Okay, if we're going to talk about regular verbs, even though... Do you remember, guys, that all of them, if you talk about the past, we put ED, right, for all regular verbs, but we do not pronounce it the same way, okay? We got actually three ways to pronounce the regular verbs. We got the one that ended up with the T sound, the ones that ended up with a D sound, and the ones that ended up with the ID sounds, okay? Okay. The ones that ended up with T sound, those are the ones that has this particular 
um, words or, or verbs that ended up with these type of uh, words, like for example, P, K, C, H, S, H, S, F, H, and like a O, like a O. For example, let me give an example. Dance, danced, okay? Dance it, okay? The second one, this one, guys. Oh, let me give an example before I go to the second column. These guys are like a, like a something that you don't hear, okay? For example, son um, sonidos sordos, okay? ¿Cómo saber que son sonidos sordos? Pongan su dedo acá. Pronuncia dance. 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 ¿Sienten una vibration o no sienten vibración? Sí. Dance. Yes, dance. 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 No, yo no siento vibración. Dance. 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 Si voy a la segunda columna, los sonidos sonoros, tenemos vocales y consonantes con B, con G, con Z, con V, con M, con L, R, W, J. Y esa otra que es, es como una Z. Tenemos, por ejemplo, miren la palabra abrir. Open, opened, opened. Ven aquí. Opened. ¿Ya? Yeah. Opened. Ajá. Y al final opened. tenemos los que terminan en ide, que solamente son los que terminan en los verbos que terminan en te y en de. The sound. The sound, exacto. Por ejemplo, paint. Y lo vemos en el pasado, painted. 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 Ven que casi es como una ID. Painted. painted. No se preocupen, les voy a mandar un video donde está súper chévere, más detallado eso. Me gustaría enseñárselos, pero el factor tiempo es lo que no tenemos. That's the problem, right? Pero hay un video súper chévere que explica bien cabal a detalle eso. Y chicos, miren lo que hice con ustedes. Les he sacado en este file que les voy a mandar los verbos. Los verbos regulares ahorita. No todos, porque es un montón. Pero los que más se ocupan. Tenemos su infinitivo, su pasado. ¿Cómo se...? Miren, aquí ven, ven a la par que tiene id, id, t, t, id. Ven eso. Quiere decir que esos verbos están... Se, aunque termina en ed, pero su pronunciación es como id. Ven, se los he puesto ahí para que sepan en qué tres, en qué, en qué clase de columna van. Si en esta, si en esta o en esta, ¿sí? Entonces tendrán una idea de cómo pronunciarlo o cómo practicar la pronunciación. Eso lo vamos a hacer también, no crean. Y al final, ven, tienen su definición en español. ¿Creen que les va a ser útil? Es hecha. Yes. Sí, miren este. Aquí hay más, miren. ¿Quieren más? Aquí hay más. ¿Quieren otro? Aquí hay más. ¿Qué les parece? Y miren lo que chévere que les he puesto. Cuando escribimos los verbos regulares en pasado, cuando, por ejemplo, le añadimos solo la de. Cuando tenemos que duplicar la letra al final, ¿sí? Y aquí, cuando tenemos que cambiar la Y por la Y latina, ¿sí? Y aquí hay unas expresiones más que pueden añadir cuando hablan de pasado. Por ejemplo, can you please read for me, Christian? Hey, yesterday, mm -hmm. ago, okay. last month, very good, last week, mm -hmm. last year, Okay. In 2003. Mm -hmm. In 2007. Very good job. Exactly. Very good job. Entonces, esas son time expression with past simple tense. Okay. Son expresiones de tiempo que indica algo que usted ya hizo el pasado. ¿Sí? Eso les va a añadir más vocabulario cuando usted quiera hablar de alguna actividad, algún hábito o alguna generalidad que ocurrió en el pasado. ¿Sí? 
esto, todo esto les va a ayudar bastante. Y al final, hay una tarea. Ay, teacher. Yes, homework, Americo. ¿Eh? ¿Mm? You see? He was like, what? <laughs> Gabby, can you imagine? <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. What is the homework? You have three examples here um, of three different people. We got Erica, we got Carlos, and we got Nancy. Okay? And each of them describe their weekend. Okay? So do me a favor. This is going to be your homework, guys. I want you to describe your weekend. Okay? Short. Does it have to be long? Like Carlos, no way. Just short. And that will be the first thing that we're going to ask tomorrow at night. Okay? Okay. All right. Any questions so far? No. So far, the good? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Uh, okay very good. Uh, tell me something. How do you feel today? Do you feel that you learned today? Yes, teacher. Very good. Okay, that's my purpose. Okay, I'm going to send it to you the file. And also, I will send it to you the, a link for the video. So, it will help you, like, um, to practice the regular verbs pronunciation. It will help you which one goes in which category, okay? In the T category, in the D category, in the ID category. And, um, and also, please practice them. Because um, sometimes you will feel like goofy, right? You know what goofy is? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Remember that? Yeah? And that, that uh, you may feel like that because um, you need to like do a lot of facial movements to try to pronounce it correctly. But once you get used to it, it will sound natural. For example, you said walk, right? Talk, right? It sounds like a little bit like, um, I don't know, forzado, right? Yes. But try to do it like that way. If you practice that pronunciation constantly, you will see that you will end up um, speaking like in a natural way. Okay? Walked. You see? I, I, yo no hago expresión así como walk. No. Walked. You see? Sale normal. Por la práctica. Entonces, please, guys, the video that I will send it to you, please practice the pronunciation of the regular verbs. Eso es lo que más cuesta. ¿Cuándo es que termina en T? ¿Cuándo es que termina en D? ¿Cuándo es que termina en ID? That's the hardest part. Pero once you learn it, o por lo menos aprendes a identificar, ah, este creo que se puede pronunciar de esta manera, entonces ya vas a ver que te va a funcionar. Y les voy a mandar un link de los irregular verbs. Ok, que esos chicos, sinceramente les digo, eso no hay una regla. You gotta learn by heart. Tienen que eh, aprendérselo como se dice en buen salvadoreño, a guayaba. Sí, that's true, Américo. Porque eh, los, por eso son irregular verbs. Porque el pasado nunca va a seguir el mismo patrón que los regulares. Sí, entonces eso es, you need to learn it by heart. Y la única manera de es estudiándolos y usándolos. ¿Ok? No les voy a mandar todos porque son un montón. Pero sí los más principales. ¿Ok? Ok. And please, guys, practice the songs. Right, Gabby? Yes. Please, <laughs> because we're going to end up singing on Thursday. ¿Ok? ¿Ok, Américo? Okay, teacher. Please, if you if you would like to choose yesterday from the Beatles, that would be amazing. And if you want to bring a guitar, that would be amazing as well. Use your imagination. Oh, yeah, right, Fernando? Yes, teacher. Yeah, definitely. Okay, guys. Okay, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for joining today's class. We were just a few, but that's great. We have learned a lot. Okay, guys, so please study. And I will see you tomorrow. Hugs and kisses, okay? Have a great and night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye.